Welcome to IHTV, the video series brought to you by Ideal Homes Portugal, where we show you properties for sale and activities you can do when you're here in the Algarve. So we're on episode four, season nine, and today we're going to spend it in Tavira. And what are we going to do in Tavira, John? Well, today I thought I'd treat you as a VIP. That's always a good thing, that. I always like that, John. And I'll take you around to Vera in a something electric. It's not a limousine? Not quite. A okay, little bit smaller. Something electric, electric, like electric, so eco friendly, that's good. But a bit smaller. A limousine won't get through these streets. No. I'm going to take you in a tuk tuk. Brilliant. I love tuk tuks. Oh, that is brilliant because we get down the like the narrow roads and everything, and yeah. you get to see yes. proper Tavira. Excellent. I love that. Oh, good. I can't oh, wait. Good. Oh, good. That's exciting. Right. Okay, so before that, you're going to go and see some properties for us? I'll go and show you some properties. Yep. Excellent. And I'll have a wander around Tavira. I might have a coffee and a cake, and I'll see you back here later. Look forward to it. And you too. Where am I today? I'm showing you a stunning villa. I'm in Porto de Moss on the western side of Lagos. You're very close to the beach of Porto de Moss, literally three minute walk just there. You've also got, if you like walking, some stunning walks all over the cliff edge there. And that will take you almost to the end and you can look at the sunsets on Praia de Luz. This villa offers everything. It is absolutely stunning inside and outside. You've got outside there a stunning pool and that's heated as well with a heat pump. You've got outside space and it's completely private. And the other thing is there's a couple of other villas, one that side and a couple up there. This is totally private and they're all residential. So there's no holiday lets here, but if you want it for a holiday home or renting it, this will rent really well. So I love it, I do, just love it. And this is a lovely balcony. You access this from the living room and you get outside, you've got full sunshine all day long, plenty of seating area, and you've got more area over there. You could put another table and chairs or even more seating. Beautiful property. I'm gonna take you inside, show you around and tour you around. And I hope you will fall in love with this property as I have just fallen in love with it. Join me inside where I will take you on a tour of this lovely villa. Your first impressions as you come in is Lovely, it's great. I mean, the hallway's got stainless steel inox and it just has a nice feel. This is a surprise. So I'll show you what's behind there in a moment, but let me take you into the lounge. There is a, a downstairs toilet in the corner. So as you come in the front door, the lounge area has got a lovely snug feel. You've got everything here. You've got a lovely gas fire there. I mean, what's not to like? It's great. Three-seater sofas. And then, one of the things I've never seen, this is the first for me, is this. This is your air conditioning unit. And all the rooms have this, instead of the ugly box, they're all themed, so that will give you hot and cold air. So that's your air conditioning unit. Amazing. <laughs> well, I'm a little kid, I love gadgets. Also, the owners of this place have actually made this into an office. So solid wood, maple wood. You've got an office there all fitted out. That could be anything though, ideal as an office, but you could make that into a kid's room. But there's plenty of space in this property for doing all sorts of things. 
So this is your lounge. And the other thing I must point out is the property does come fully furnished. And the furniture in here is, it's not cheap furniture, it's really good stuff. So even the piano, piano comes with it. So I'd, I'd play a few tunes on there for you, but I'm not that good. Lovely property. I'm gonna take you now further into the, the secret passage. Let's just say it that way. behind the secret door. Not just me, but this. I mean, I love it. That just sectionalizes the other half of the house. You've got a good sized utility room. It's all plumbed, it's already. You've got washing machine, dryer, cupboards in here. This is your utility room. You've got plenty of space outside for parking, but this has got a lovely garage. Look at this. You could get your Lamborghini or your Ferrari or your three Puntos in here. So if you've got two small cars or three small cars or one big car, this will take it. Again, sliding doors, solid wood. That's your garage. Now the kitchen. I love kitchens, especially when they're workable kitchens and you can do so much with them. This kitchen is a, to die for. I mean, if you're prepping and doing things, you've got so much space. I mean, the hob is an induction hob that's enormous. You put all your machinery on here, you've got cable management, just plug that in. You've got a TV on the wall. I mean, everything's here. If you like your coffee, you've got your built-in coffee maker as well. And let me take you into this dining area. The owners, again, everything they've done to this property is amazing. Constantine, Constantina doors that take you out into the garden, and that's all private again. I mean, all you can hear is the birds out there. Love it. Air conditioning, remember that? Another air conditioning unit. And then you've got access to a balcony that takes you onto the patio there. And if you want to, you've got concertina doors this side that are framed and you can close all this off. This property does have a wow factor. I've shown you upstairs. Now I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you the bedrooms downstairs. Really is a good property, this. So. Let's take you on a tour down on the bedrooms. Let's come down and show the bedrooms downstairs and a few other things, because this has not just got bedrooms down here, I'll show you a few other things. Let's take you into this bedroom, follow me. Lovely size. This has got a great look outlook looking onto the Mediterranean garden. So you can wake up with your cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning, or you can take your, sit out there on the table and the chairs. Good size but all the bedrooms are a good size. I'm gonna take you now to the principal master bedroom. Views over the swimming pool. It's, it's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You've got in the property as well, uh, what we call central vacuum. So you don't need to take your vacuum around with you. Central vacuum, you just plug the tube into there and in the garage, there is the cylinder that collects all the dust and the dirt. So everything is, it's, it's, there's no dirt in this house. It's absolutely mint condition. You walk into a walk-in wardrobe with doors on, and you've got a beautiful ensuite, and that's got a really nice size shower in there and twin basins. So these are two bedrooms. Oh, look at that. Matching wallpaper on your air conditioning unit. 
I love it, I love it. And then you come back into the hallway, two bedrooms, this is what the kid, one of the kids' bedrooms. Again, it's a good size, there's nothing wrong with this. And look, I love it, the air conditioning unit again, themed. And this has got an ensuite, the ensuite is a good size. It's a bit bright, so beware, but it is a kid's bathroom, right? But it's got the shower and the toilet in here. And let's show you the little girl's room, shall we? Now the little girl's room is cute. There's a few things in here when, well, I think she likes flamingos, eh? Come on inside. The sun always is on this room as well. A good size, themed air conditioning unit, and then a really nice bright bathroom there. So all in all, the bedrooms are just, I'm blown away. I love property. And when I come to a property like this, I just get excited, sorry. Let me take you to a few further things in this area down here that may impress you. We've seen the bedrooms. I did say there are other things down here. You've got more space. I mean, there's another storage area. And have you ever seen a neater storage area? That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Then the owners have made this into their kids' playroom. You've got, remember this? It takes me back my ear. So that's great. You've got your pool table. So you've got a great area for the kids, but you can have this for yourself. And then let me take you to the gym. You come through this way. This has got outside toilet here and a shower. So you can go access the garden that way. And then you come into the gym, which has got some machinery in here, but it's a fully equipped gym and I love it. I absolutely love it. So, let me finish off and take you outside and just explain about the outside of the area and go through a couple of the finer details. Well, a fantastic villa inside but equally outside. It's a great villa outside. Easy maintenance gardens. And look at this pool. Wow. Lovely pool. Lovely, easy managed gardens. Sun all day long. It's a little bit shady here now. Another little secret is, although this pool is heated by a heat pump, having dark blue tiles always keeps the water hotter. Remember that. Rather than light blue. Dark blue holds the heat a bit longer. So, lovely easy maintenance gardens, lovely villa inside. Have I finished? Not quite. I'm gonna show you another area, which is the barbecue area that's got an inside kitchen, and it's a great, a great area. Well, let's finish off on this section and go through the finer details. This is their barbecue area. It's a great entertaining area. You've even got plumbing and a fully fitted in kitchen in there and a dishwasher. You've also got the technical area for the pool. That's got all the gubbings to run the pool and that's your heat pump to keep it hot in the winter. There's also another additional storage area for the cushions. 
All in all, this is an amazing villa in Porto de Mos, just near Lagos. Great, great area and close to the beaches, as I said earlier. It's on the market with Ideal Homes Portugal at two million two hundred fifty thousand euros. Oh yeah, it's on a high end price of, but properties around here are generally selling now really three million equal to this. So if you're looking for a property of this type here in this area, check this one out. I'm here if you've got any questions to ask, drop me an email at any time, john at idealhomesportugal.com. The guys and girls, the team, as I should say, are in the office 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days a week, and there's someone to help you there. What else can I say? I hope you like everything. I hope you like the channel, and we try our best to show you different things. If you do, please press subscribe. That way we can get notifications of the new videos coming to you. And also share and please press like. Hope to see you very soon. There's lots more coming up with IHTV and lots of other things Ideal Homes are doing. So thanks for watching, stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Join me next week, I'll be showing you a three bedroom detached villa on a gated community of only 12 villas. In Lagos, not to be missed. See you then. Hi, and you join me today for another property with Ideal Homes Portugal here on the western side of Albufeira. It's in Val de Para, very close to the beaches near Salgados, and some beautiful beaches with that. Inside, it's been refurbished to the top notch. It is absolutely beautiful inside. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, new double glazing. You've got underground parking below, and also a big storage room. You've got things like solar panels. So let me take you on a tour inside, and you just see how beautiful this apartment is. See you upstairs, and see you in a minute. Hi, and welcome inside this lovely apartment. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. That's one of the bathrooms there. It's been refurbished recently, and it's been done beautifully. New flooring all the way through. Video entry to obviously get in here. You've got downstairs underneath garage parking and storage room, which is enormous. Let's go into the kitchen while I tour you around. The kitchen's all refitted. It's got a lovely blue smeg fridge there. But you've got your normal dishwasher, washing machine, oven, hob, everything's here. Lovely clean. The flooring is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let me take you into the lounge. The lounge, it's south facing, so you're getting the sun pretty much all day here. And you've got a lovely balcony, we'll go out there shortly. But a lovely size, great size to sit there and watch the telly. And you've got your dining room. I mean, the owners, I've got a great taste, and the way they've refurbed it, I mean, the way they furnished it, it's, it's my taste, it may not be to everyone's, but it's beautiful. They've also got, as I said, two bedrooms. So let me take you into this one. This particular one is the second bedroom, but the owners use it as an office come lounge and pull out bed there. But you've got fitted wardrobes, brand new air conditioning is fitted, Samsung all the way through here. And you've got lovely views over that way. So this is your second bedroom. You've got the second bathroom in here, a full-size bath, a shower, toilet. It's, I mean, it's really nice. All the tiling is lovely. And then you've got the master bedroom. Let me take you into the master bedroom. I mean, fitted wardrobe again. I love the light. Wow, space, spaceship there. And you've got access to your terrace balcony there. Again, it's south facing. And you can sit or lie in your bed and you've got the sea view there. Remember, you're literally five minutes away from the beaches of the western side of Albufeira, and you'll have great sunsets here. Lovely, a beautiful view. I'll see you out on the balcony.
sorry, just taking in the view. And it is a beautiful view. I mean, that is southwest facing. So you've got not just the sun, but you've also got in the evenings, you'll have the sunsets. And the front bit there where the greenery is, that's Sal Gardas Golf Course. So if you like your golf, you'll like that course. If you like water, I'll be warning you now, there is a lot of water on that hole, on those holes on that golf course. Also, location of this property. You are literally five minutes from the beaches on the western side of Albufera, some beautiful coves and really great location. You've got restaurants, you can literally walk out the door, you've got numerous restaurants around here, literally on your doorstep. Yet, a small condominium, and it's actually quite quiet. Supermarkets, you've got Apollonia Supermarket, which in Portugal has about three locations. One is literally five minutes away again, and they stock all the international food, you can get everything there. It's come on the market with Ideal Homes Portugal. It's on the market for 345,000 euros. Remember, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom. Check out the details, the reference number will come up. If you do need any more questions to answer, to be answered, I'm here, John at idealhomesportugal.com. Also, you can contact the office. They will always, you can give them a ring, answer you, and they are open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'd like to thank you for watching. Also, don't forget, subscribe, like, and comment if you've got any comments. Don't go far away, I've got more to do and more to show you. Well, I'll, just, <laughs> I'll, let's, I'll get in. <laughs> yes. Brilliant properties. I think we agree that they were very nice properties, John. But I'm getting impatient here. This is Joao. Hi, Joao. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And he's going to take us out around to Vera. And he's going to show us the historical town, the plains, the, you know, where they do the salt and everything. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's okay. going to be really good. Let's get going. Get strapped in. How are you enjoying it? It's lovely. It's really nice, isn't it? It's like, I mean, I do like Tafira anyway because it's very historic again. It's really um, pretty in places. Well, I, I worked here, as you know, for many years and I know lots, but I've learned already things I didn't know yeah. so much, yeah. so much more. It is, it's interesting to do something like this because you do get to hear about the history and, and, and different things about it, don't you? So it makes it more interesting. And you can go down roads in this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah those steps the steps and that. Yeah, so it's that, like, boom, did, boom, I didn't expect that, yeah. yeah. So, and it's, this is eco-friendly. This is all electric. It's comfortable as well. Yeah. Very comfortable. But look at that, I love, I, I just love the whole of The architecture in, in Tavira is yeah. pretty special. There's a lot to do here as well. Um, they have, on this square here, they have lots of concerts and things and Christmas, this is all light lit up and this avenue and down now, it's all got ribbons and all sorts of things.
thank you for watching us. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a really, really good way to see Tavira, I think. I've been to Tavira many times, but this is the best one. On a tuk-tuk, get in touch with Joe out. He'll take you around. You can stop at places. He'll tell you all about it, give you some history. And you learn quite a lot. Actually, I've learned a lot today. Yeah, I've a lot, yeah. <laughs> so brilliant. Anyway, we'll be here next Thursday for episode four. And what do they have to do, John, to get a notification? Well, please press subscribe. Obviously that way, when you subscribe to our channel, we can get notifications of all the latest videos we're doing, everything to do with real estate, activities, culture, etc., etc. And if you like, please press like and share with families and friends. So we'll see you here next Thursday for episode five. Can't wait. <laughs>